Welcome to a very special episode of Mentoring Mercer. On today's episode, we have a very special model. Okay, so we're going to have some fun. Marissa has a very fun idea, and we're going to work through the process of doing it. And because I wanted to talk about LED lights, we're going to use LEDs for it um, as opposed to flash. So it should be fun working with constant light and with this kind of idea. So tell us a little bit about your idea. Okay, so when I first modeled for Autorama five, six years ago, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away, I walked into Autorama and I saw Dave and these glorious eyeballs. And I thought right then and there, one day I'm gonna learn how to do photography so that I can take a picture of his eyeballs. So I have this idea. It's either gonna be really awesome or really terrible. Basically, I want to have some red lights, probably here and here, uh, coming onto his face, kind of accentuating his cheekbones and his jawline, and then a strip of lights across his glorious eyeballs, and then maybe also a felt light to give some color to the front. We'll see. It'll Lots be, of color. <laughs> it'll be cool. Right, so I decided what we could do is use color LEDs because then we can mix them up and match them and figure out what we want for color, and also just good to work with different stuff. So um, we'll start with the background lights. So I think the simplest thing to do that, I don't know where they went, is there right there, can you get a Get the strip light? See yeah. it, do you see the light? We're sending her on a mission. Nope, nope, she's not getting it yet. Wait, where are you pointing? It's right behind the computer screen. Oh, 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 it's so tiny. Plug it. A plug? No. All right. <laughs> right, there's two of them. Okay, LED tube, right? These are great. They can be all kinds of, uh, you know, they're uh, multicolored. We can change them up. And they're going to give us, they're not, because when Marissa first told me this idea, she was like, oh, we could use some strip banks and gels. Learning, right? So this is kind of like that. You don't have that real edge control, but this will allow us to, to kind of give that kind of slice of light that we want. Or it should anyways. Plus I spent a bunch of money for them. I haven't used them yet, so we've got to use stuff. So let's get to that. And uh, let's do it. It's like nothing changed because we're still sitting in the same spot. Yeah, right. <laughs> we put the background up and uh, we got one tube on a stand. We're also got this one over here off camera. We're going to basically set these up now. Go ahead and I'll do this one. You can do that one. So we'll bring them forward up here so we can see. Bring yours up here as well. So if, we, if you look at the back of your light. Mm -hmm. Turn it on. Come around this way though. People want to see the front of you. Oh. There we go. Perfect. So the back has a little power indicator thingy. We'll hold that down. Boop. And they will turn on. Mine's already red because I cheated. <laughs> what you want to do is where it says um, mode. You don't hit that guy until it goes to uh, not CCC. You want to go HSI, which stands for something. Hue, saturation, and intensity. Wait. This is why we keep Dave. <laughs> so keep it in switchy until yeah. he gets okay. Then, then you're going to hit uh, the one below that that says switch. I think. Yep. Until it goes to hue. Uh, hue, and then adjust your plus minus until it goes to uh, the hue for red is zero zero zero. So that's actually easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, just hold it down until it goes zero zero zero. At least that's the red we're going to start with. And then I've only got my intensity set at 39% right now. So, um, these are 20%, I think. 20%. Okay, well, we'll figure out what we need. Let's turn the lights off. So, now it's gonna get dark in here, guys. Spooky. All right. Did I get right dark? I did. Okay. I know they look kind of yellowy on the screen, but they're. So, we're gonna bring them in. Mm -hmm. And what we wanna get is. This kind of cut out, if I understand Sorry, it correctly. Sorry, the, the, the lens. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you smash it. Then, yeah, then you can spin uh, the light. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Dave's got like really good shape. Like my head is a big round, like, like you know, Charlie Brown. <laughs> right? But Dave's got nice bone structure, right? And we're trying to get that, that shape. So the best way to do this, once you've got them roughly in place, hopefully you have somebody helping you, which Marissa has me, so she can stand here where the camera's gonna be, and then she can tell me how to adjust to get it where he wants. So, oh, you're gonna adjust for me? Well, I have to. That's my job as the assistant. Oh, yeah. So we'll do one at a time. Okay. Ooh, ooh, it hurts. Okay, 
maybe move it a smidge back. Back. Wait, see it look right at me. I lied. A smidge forward. Forward, okay. Honestly, it looks pretty good already. <laughs> I don't know. I think one? we got it. I already got it. How about this one? This one's also good. Um, make it about if you can make it like even with that one. Like, well, it looks kind of even to me, but actually okay. that looks good. Yeah, right. yeah. Cause, oh, perfect. perfect. That's good. Okay. Well, there we go. First time. Perfect. First time. That's how we do it. Let's set the camera up and see what it looks like on camera. So now we have set up two Nanlite Pebble tubes behind Dave's head. Uh, I'm hoping to get a little bit of light, just a little washing over the edge of the cheeks and the jawline. Nice. So one of the best ways to do this, I mean, you can do a, this a lot of different ways. You can use a light meter, you can do all kinds of things, but I think the simplest way to do it when you're, because you're, there's no real correct exposure, it's really what you want, is we'll turn them back on and then we're gonna turn off the lights in the space so it's gonna get dark for everybody on the video. And then when you look through the camera, you can kind of make a judgment uh, if you think they're too bright or too or not, right? We'll take an image and then we'll look at it on Capture One and we can adjust from there. So let's turn the lights off first. Oh. I'm actually we really use our eyes. Oh, it looks so cool, Dave. Let me kill this light too. Oh, totally worth the six year wait. Oh my God. It may have trouble focusing with all the backlights. So if that's the case, we'll have to mess around a little bit. Oh, what is that? <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, that's not terrible. It looks so good. All right. Although, oh. That's kind of cool how it's getting just the edge of his eye. Yeah, it is, right? So, you're right, you are getting the edge of his eye and you're getting a little bit of his nose. Well, if you like that, then that's good. Like I said, there's no right or wrong here. If you don't like that, then we can move the lights further backwards. Yeah. But I you will get less on the cheek as well. It's gonna, it's compromised, right? You'll start to lose the ears. I don't mind it. I kind of like it on the eye. Could also flag it, I guess, but that'd be really hard. Yeah, no, it's fine. I think it's fine. I'm kind of curious though. Let, let's just take a look what we could do with the flag. It's always good to know what your options are. I'm just gonna use this random thing that's here because I have proper flags, but I'd have to dig in the closet to get them. So if I take this, we kill the light here. You're gonna have to look through the camera to really know. Yes. And I'll move this in. Mm, not doing anything yet. No. Still nothing? Nothing yet. Yeah, I think it's going to be nearly impossible unless we put it right next to the light like oh. this. Oh, yeah, that blocked out like all the light. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's coming back a little bit. There you go. Yep, you could. Yeah. Right there, right? Try one now. Wait, now you blocked it completely. Move it a little bit. It's blocked completely now. Oh. All right, snapped it. That's actually, actually, that looks pretty cool. But that, it's very precise. You know? Yeah. So now we can see. We can keep it off his nose a little bit more, but it's gonna just be a matter of, he won't be able to move as much. So it's kind of a trade-off. Yeah, cool. Right? We can't just move the light back and get that. Yeah, let's try moving the light back. So there's a couple of different ways to do these things. There's no single way to do anything. Moving the light back should also do it. Oh yeah, actually that worked perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually that worked even better. And there we go. Look, although... So now, now we do the same, what? You kind of like it. Or do you want, I mean, we can do it on both sides. I'm trying to think what's gonna look cooler with it. Cause I, this almost looks like just a backlight, you know? Right. Whereas this one's kind of looks- Has more depth to it. Yeah. I yep. kind of liked it forward. Okay. Even with the nose. And I don't, yeah, think yeah. I don't mind it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. I mean, that's why when people make these posing guides or whatever, and they're just like, you can't do this. Every situation is different. Normally, if somebody was to ask me, do you want light from the back to hit them in the nose? I would say no. But in this case, I actually agree with you. I think it actually looks good. It gives shape to the face and it seems like the right thing to do. Now, the next thing we wanna do is um, do the slice of light on the eyes, right? Yeah. Okay, so I busted out uh, one of my favorite lights. I have many, but this is probably, this desert island light right here, except I'd have to have power, so then maybe it wouldn't be a desert island. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. This is the data light uh, LED7, or DLED7, I should say, with a projector uh, on it. This is gonna allow us to throw patterns. We've done that before. Uh, at first we were thinking about doing uh, like a strip of light, like kind of uh, noir. And you can check out the noir video I did with Dave. <laughs> God, that was one of the earlier videos, right? Yeah. If only he had a hat. <gasps> that was amazing. Right, that was amazing. Uh, but what we might use here, this is actually called a 
Iris. It opens and closes like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, that's the way. Oh, I'll put it in front of this camera. <laughs> it opens and closes like this. <laughs> so we can make a circle of light. So we're going to try that because that was kind of what you thought. No, we could try yeah. it. If it looks bad, we're going back to the slice. All right. So I'm going to put it into the projector. And you also said you might want it to be a blue color, but we will determine that after the fact. We can put a gel in after. So we slide that into the projector, right? And you can see it. See it on the ground? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So what I recommend you doing is... Dave, close his eyes. Yeah. Now, one thing that this is wrong, that's probably not a bad idea to close his eyes. And since he's going to be looking straight forward, you probably want it right above the camera so you can keep this... Keep the right angle. And we're going to bring it up. Oh, well, of course. It's always a good idea to cable. loosen the cable. I'm gonna bring it up. I am notorious for wrapping up cables. This is why I'm happy to have the, the, the battery powered lights these days. All right. So we're gonna point it right at his grill. And we're gonna close down the circle. Now, of course, we wanna make sure that we've got, it is slightly to the side, but we'll look. So yeah. Yeah. we're gonna turn off the lights in here. Oh. It looks so cool. Yeah, we could probably move it even closer to the camera. Uh, maybe make it even, even smaller, maybe. Sure. Get it where you want it, position-wise. And then the iris is right there. You feel it? Right there. Yep, just slide it back and forth. You can see you can open and close it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think power-wise I've got it. <laughs> now, power is going to be the tricky part. So look through the camera. <laughs> where, where, where are we at? You look like the moon. <laughs> yeah, that looks about proper exposure. Again, I'm just looking. All right, so go ahead and take a shot. Yeah, there it is. Right? <laughs> it looks like you're goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. All right, cool. cool. Wait, no, they can't see us on any cameras. Cool. Uh, let me turn on the two red lights in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can see anything. All right. Oh, I don't know if it has the same effect that I wanted to have. It look, they both look cool individually, but let's see. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Okay. Um, do you want to try the slice? So the reason why I think the slice might be better for you here is because... I think you're starting to get too much bleed over here. Yeah. Or you could do a small, even smaller circle and get just like one of his try eyes. A smaller circle, and then yeah. if, if I don't like it, then we can go nice. Yeah. I would go real small and try to keep it, because again, because we're lighting his nose. If he didn't have that light on his nose, that might be. I'm not trying to do it more on just his forehead and his eyes. Okay. So the exposure all looks good. Sometimes when you adjust the iris, the exposure, yeah. Oh, oh, that's Ooh. interesting. That's interesting, but okay. weird. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think what's happening here is that we've got too much, like the circle itself is not working because you're basically yeah. going all forehead. So yeah. I actually think that a slice is probably going to be a better option for you. But let's try it. I mean, yeah, let's you won't know until you try. That's why we have different tools. These are framing shutters, right? So we're going to use them to go. <laughs> to put them in the camera. There you go. You got this. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> it's me, the slices. All right. All right, can we take that out and blind Dave because I'm terrible like that? All right, we'll turn that off. Oh, I kind of, I don't mind the circle. It's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. So that's what I get from mocking Marissa. So it's, it's only slice. a little bit terrible. It makes me think of like old times. It would be cool if we could do the circle, <laughs> but on only one eye. You well, know? We, well, we definitely could do that. But, but now it's too late. We too late. On. So do I right, just... So the way these work, yep, slide one on the top where the circle was. Yeah? I think so. Yeah. Let's let me turn it on. Yeah. Now, of course, it's, up, it's upside down, right? Because it's oh. projected, yeah, so that's the... Okay. And then one below? Yeah, and then one below, exactly. And that'll be the top. That one's usually trickier to get in because you got to kind of, yeah. You just got to kind of slide it. I usually start at one edge. There's that screw there. 
yeah, and then we basically just pinch them together. Now we can see that. Um, we've Is got... there a way to make it even more precise? You know, because it's kind of misty on the edges. Oh yeah, we can sharpen it. Yeah, because I feel like that even would have looked cooler with the circle. Yep. Yeah, we can sharpen the. What? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now, really. Backwards. I always remember that. Really, though, the, the only issue I see with this is that we're hitting his knee ears, and I do have four framing shutters. It, there's actually a, a projector that has built in framing shutters that is just better if you're really going to go crazy like this. This is a DP 2.1. This has got built in framing shutters. So, this will actually be, if you're only going to use framing shutters, this is really the way to go. The reason why I have this one is because it's versatile. Oh, sorry, Dave. <laughs> As usual. Don't turn it off. Yeah, you can turn it off. Switch it on the bottom. So this guy, or girl. <laughs> this lady. This lady um, has built-in framing shutters. So what we're going to do is, you've got all your shutters here. Go ahead and turn it on. Okay, I'm going to point it at you. Okay, and you can actually use any of these to create whatever shape you want, including turning the thing. Oh, and also, you wanted a hard edge, right? Yeah. Well, we could try the circle since we have it. I, I don't think the circle would look as weird if it was sharp, maybe? Okay. For the circle, I pull them all out? Let's, let's have one. Oh, the, no, if you want to do a sight circle, we gotta go back to the projector. Oh, no, no. One no. project at a time. Oh, I thought we could do it with this one. I didn't realize. You see what she does to me? You see what she does? Mm -hmm. We're going. Wait, that looks like a circle. Well, you can get it in tight, but you can't do the precise tiny circle. Yeah, there you go. That looks pretty good. The only problem is that that eats a lot of light, right? Because or did you turn it down? Yeah, you turn it down when you're messing with. But that's all. That's all the way up now. You're eating so much light. Oh you're, yeah, it's such. You're tiny. literally. You literally have it closed, and you're just like letting it crack. If you want to circle on one eye, then we got to go back to the projector. No, 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 I don't. If you want to slice, then this is the way to do it. I want a thinner slice. Although, I'm not sure. Uh, I just don't want to ruin that cool effect we have with the red. Well, you're going to, because I'm, you're adding too many things. I know. That's actually the lesson to be learned here, because she wouldn't listen to me when I told her before. It almost looks like David Bowie. You're, you're also shooting with the light and the space on. Oh, so, right. Hold on. Let's not be impatient. All right. Okay. It is a little bit kind of David Bowie-ish. Okay. Ooh! Oh. Right, you can see, but see, the, the exposure now is... All right, is that all the power we got? I think so, yeah. I closed it a lot. Yeah, so what we're going to have to do... No, don't mess with it. If you like the way it looks, we're fine. Well, I don't necessarily like it. Oh, okay. I'm going to keep playing. Because we can adjust our exposure still. Remember, we can turn the back lights down. So how do we do, how would we do like a horizontal slice? If you want to do, a, so the way you do this, let me just, we're going to start, if you look at these, right, you got to see them. Mm -hmm. If you want to do a horizontal slice, then you just got to come. Oh. And then what I would do is get it kind of close to where you want it. I want like just the eyes, not the nose, if we can. Yeah. We need to move it closer then. Jump. There are advantages too. The other projector that I had, Sorry. which is a neat, no, you're fine. You can get it tighter. This one, because it has four leaves in it, it's a little bit harder to get tight. Right, but we can block it from the ears. Well, right. we should be able to block the ears, exactly. In theory. In theory. <laughs> Dave, you're so patient. And Daniel, you're so patient, too. <laughs> So there's that one, and then there's this one. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's okay. We can make it a bit um, level. Okay, but not perfect yeah. level. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. It will not be. Oh, that's a little. <gasps> yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. Just I don't know. A little bit. I don't know. Got something. If you want it to be perfectly straight on him, then we'd have to move the light in front of him completely. That's okay. We, it doesn't have to be perfect. Which we definitely can do. It's just a matter of me moving the stand. 
don't know. It's kind of weird, but cool, maybe. It's kind of weird. Well, now I feel like your exposure is too bright. So remember, you, you want to look at balance, right? Like that's a normal exposure on his face, but the red is dark, so it kind of doesn't make any sense. But we want to add color, right? Yeah. So before we do anything else, let's add, you want to add blue to this, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so sorry, we're in the dark, guys. I've got this blue gel, which I don't know if it was there or not. Oh, it's super blue. And what we'll do is we'll hold it in front. Did you do it? Yeah. Well, you didn't seem excited this time. Oh, wow. There we go. Yeah, come on now. Genuine excitement. This is why you have to record the whole time. No. <laughs> uh, okay, we got to have his chin up. But yeah, there's your super intense blue. Hmm. 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 No. I think you've got too many things going yeah, on, I if I'm being honest. Agree. So I think that what I might want to suggest is either move the lights back so it's off so we don't get the red on the nose so that way we're just dealing with space here. Yeah. Or leave it because you like it. And then instead of doing a slice here, just do a fill light on his face. Yeah, I was thinking both those things. Or yeah, we could even move. What if we move like the red lower underneath him? So it's like the red is the shadows. And then the fill light is the other. Does that look bad? Am I, I giving a side eye to the camera? I think I am. No. <laughs> okay, never mind. This looks good. Take it back. This is a ring light. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is all about Daniel pulling random equipment out. No, we're going to use this as a fill. I think so. I'm, the reason why I'm using this is because it is, uh, you can change the color. Well, no, I think this is actually a really good learning opportunity. Um, because I think a lot of times people have ideas that are full of all kinds of things, but you usually want to take one thing that is your focus. Like the idea of using a million techniques all at once seems cool, but I find that a lot of times it just starts to get really crowded. Yeah. It's not that it was bad, it just, I think it's, it's better if it's simpler. So this I'm going to turn to blue. Um, I got a we'll... ticket to the buffet of Daniel's equipment and I yeah. overate. So let's turn the data light off for a second. I kind of like it even with just, I know it's kind of basic, but it well, even looks good. Just, just the red. I feel like the fill light and just the red would look good. I think so too. I don't know which camera I'm looking at now to give the side eye, but yes, yeah, exactly. That's I what you told me at the beginning and I was like, yes. no, no, the slice is going to look so good. Well, you actually, just so you guys know, she wanted two slices. I did want, well, originally I wanted two circles, like one on each eye. We were going to do like laser eyes and Daniel's like, that's going to look terrible. And I was like, I don't think. Hold See, on. that looks cool. We gotta uh, that's in the shot though, right? Yeah, so it is, but. We should probably maybe take it out or no. Yeah, we probably should. Okay. I mean. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if it's in the shot and if we, we can do one of two things, um, we can either. Yeah, that it, looks so cool. Oh. We can move it back further, <laughs> which might look too flat. That's out of the shot now, right? I, or I can move the camera close to me. Well, we can use a longer lens. One of, the, one of the two things. How's it look? Not bad. It's still in the shot or no? No, it's not in the shot. No. All right, let's just see what it looks like. Okay. I think this is better already. Okay, what you want his eyes to be brighter. We just want this to be a fill, so we just want a subtle blue fill. Yeah. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little more. Okay. I actually moved it down two stops, so let's move it down one stop instead. I got excited. See, let's I'm seeing that. this with the laser eye. Well, hold on, we might get there. Okay. Yeah. All right, that seems like a good balance. Now, if you want to light up one of his eyes. <gasps> see, in the end. So in the end, maybe it will work. We're gonna do two things. Yeah. Well, we're just not gonna do two laser eyes. Yeah. Because that. Laser eye. That's for next season. We have to save something for next <laughs> that's season. That's for when we get sponsored and get That's right, we get sponsored by laser eyes, then we'll do laser eyes. <laughs> laser eyes. Laser eyes.com. <laughs> oh, maybe Dave, you could do like some kind of pose where you cover your other eye. And then the other eye's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. That could be kind of cool. There you go. And he's got the one eye. I don't know. I have an eye patch. An eye patch. Oh, that's too bad. We do not have an eye patch. Well, we, he could hold a camera maybe because he's a photographer. Oh, no, he cannot. <laughs> one laser. That is the ultimate sin. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring this down to so just a circle. I have a lens cap you could. <laughs> It's too bad. If we could make the pose seem natural, like, oh, then it would be cool. 
There was nothing natural about putting it. Oh, the lesser eye. Oh, yeah. If it had been both eyes, it would have looked kind of goofy. But one eye kind of looks cool. Okay, that might be a little too bright, but go ahead, try it. You never want to get it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely too bright. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and too sharp. Okay, it's kind of it's very cyborg. Okay, this is good though. I don't. I think we need to turn it down. Well, I know what Morris is going to want to do, so let's just get that out of the way first. <laughs> let's put the blue in front of it, which is not a good idea. I don't necessarily <laughs> need to be blue. Is it on you now? No. In fact, I almost feel like it should be red since there's the fill light that's blue. Right? Yeah. Oh, I like to get the hand in front too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's good. kind of cool. All right, so that's out of the way. No blue eye. But see, what's happening is when somebody's eye is blue, this is the conversation we're having. So I'll have it to you live on camera. When, when something is blue, if you put blue on it, it actually loses the contrast. So you don't want to put blue on a blue or something blue because it just becomes like grayish and we just get mud. Yeah. His eye looks really intense when you look at him because his skin tone is more pale and the contrast the eye. So yeah, you could put a contrasting color, but I still think it's going to look flat. Like if we put like a, a warm color on there. Yeah. You really want. Oh, wait, wait, your hand is in it. Oh, wait, you. See? Again, it goes flat. See, we're losing, yeah. it's better, but it's still flat because what happens is now the eye is getting dark. You see, like you're, using, you're seeing in all the parts of the eye, you're losing that blueness. Yeah. So what we want is just the skin tone. So yeah. we'll lose that and we'll change the exposure. So let's get it lined up now where we want it to be. Okay. I can almost see that being a little smaller. Try that. Ooh! Yeah, now we're getting close. Now you're like a cyborg. <laughs> cyborg days. Right? And that makes it more intense, right? Because now we've got the one eye. It'd be cool if that... A light monocle. Yeah, a it's... light monocle. <laughs> the only thing I wouldn't mind seeing, which is going to be tricky to do, would be a little bit... Oh, I'm using that word. It'd be nice to see a little more catch light in his eye. A little more catch light in his eye. I'm just gonna turn the, the fill up a little bit, which is gonna maybe not be ideal, but let's just see what that looks like. Because at this point we're tweaking, right? We wanna get this where we wanna get it. Yeah. Because now we can see that we're getting a little bit more catch light there. I know some people are gonna hate that because it's a, it's a, it's a ring light, but it is what it is. All right, what do you think? Not bad. I don't love the circle, even though that was my main Let's idea. Let's make the circle soft. <laughs> yeah. Let's work through the idea, because you had the, you had the idea for a reason. I just like Dave, Dave's eye. Ooh. Wait, that's so tough. Wait, ooh, wait, try that. That is what I wanted with laser eyes. Although I wanted two. But <laughs> see, that would have looked so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's center it better on his eye though. We're gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, I think Dave, like, could cover the other eye with your hand, maybe. Wait, Dave, cover the other eye with your hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. I like that. That looks cool. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> it's so weird looking. It's, it is, it's definitely a laser eye. That's it's for sure. It's a laser eye. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, like it. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I open it up really wide. It, it, it's slightly overexposed, but I think it works because it's making it look like a... a... Like a laser eye. Oh, that's oh, so good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can get another eye. Oh. Did you get it? It's so good. <laughs> that is so, the best photo I've ever seen in my life. That's the best. That's perfect. But see, if it had been two of them, they would have looked so good. No. You doubted me, but that would have looked like so no, cool. No, no, no. Two would have been too much. Let us know in the comments if, <laughs> if you think two would have been too much. It's so good. But yeah, there you go. One single laser eye works. Good, right? Not bad. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I love it so much. It looks so cool. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. 
That is the best photo. It's, it's so it's, good. It's pretty awesome. Really though, you don't think two would have looked awesome? No. I, it would no. have been a no. pain. Let us know in the comments <laughs> if you think two would have been, no. It's no. Two would be way too much. I knew it was gonna look good at the end. No, I knew the single one would look good. I had to bring, you, you never give it to him right away. If there's a lesson to be learned here, you gotta. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I, I like the idea. It looks intense. Now, what's working here is balance, right? Yeah. We've got clean light on his eye and it's overexposed. So it's making it really intense. That's the laser part that you wanted. The fill light is blue, which helps accent against the red. And uh, we got the contrast in the back with the black background, but it's all about levels of contrast. You, this is really important to make this stuff as balanced as possible. You feeling happy? There we go. That's, that's advanced Marissa right there. <laughs> What do you think, Dave? Do you feel like so Do you like Dave. your laser eye? <laughs> it almost looks photoshopped on. It does, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's not. Nope. And there's a few things going on. He's getting blasted in the eye with light, which is making his, uh, <laughs> yeah. his people uh, not dilate, but the opposite of dilate, um, which is making the extra blue go on, which is another reason why using the hot lights for this is just a better option than flash. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So Pretty good, much. though. Not bad, Marissa. <laughs> Not bad, Daniel. Not bad, not bad. Not yeah. bad, Dave. Not, not bad, Dave! Dave. <laughs> You're just a mannequin. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so we are we are now adding a prop because, you know. Because that... we only have one laser eye, so. Right. Does that look like the... Um... You got the back cap on. Oh, I guess that yeah, was... I was gonna say, I was like, I can't <laughs> Right. Yeah, and, oh, okay, wait, wait. And line pause it up it, proper. Pause it there. Yeah, don't move it. If you move it up a hair, just a hair more. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty cool. It does look like an eye. Yeah, it's it looks got like an iris yeah. on it too. Yeah. There you go. There's the second laser eye. All right, there you go, guys. Wow, I'm. I'm... Look at that. <laughs> Dude, so good. It come does on. look like another eye. There you go. So that she got her so second good. eye. That's Dave the Cyborg. Dave the Cyborg! <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So, without further ado, <laughs> thanks, Dave. <laughs> uh, I'll put everybody's information in the description so you guys can follow them. And uh, anything, any other further words from Marissa? Uh, no, I'm so, ha I'm so She's satisfied. so happy. She got it. She got what she wanted. That's in the end. You come up with an idea. You kind of work your way through it, right? And you can get it. It's just a matter of figuring it out. Uh, I wanted this one to really be like, because when I got here the, earlier, I was like, I could just set it up for you. But I was, let, let's see how it works if we do it piece by piece. And I think it's a lot more of a learning experience you, where you could see True. how that other stuff didn't really work. And then we came back to that laser eye. So subscribe and ring the bell and all the goodness. We'll see you next time.